Well, today we're going to do something a little bit different, and it's something that's normally more in the ballpark of my good friend Eric. Uh, he of the uh, excellent Mr. E Models channel. Um, so basically, uh, my wife showed me a picture that our grandson had sent us, Joseph. And so it turns out, Joseph, I think, is a bit of a sci fi fan as well. So, chip off the old block. Sensible lad. Um, so he sent me a picture of a robot he did, uh, and I'm going to try and make it. Are you all right? On lap. Come on in. Up, up. Come on. Come on. Wow. She always wants to join in. Um, so this is what we're going to do today. We're going to have a bit of a a kit bash, sort of play about, see what we can make, and then paint. Um, and what I'll do is I'll send it up to. Joseph, so he's got a little model. Um, he's got feet. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the feet yet. The arm, he's got like a, a three, three pronged gun arm. So I'm going to use some wheels as the top part, some Lego parts for the the barrels. He's got a chainsaw. I'm going to see if I can make a chainsaw. That sort of looks chainsawy. It's an old yacht thing. Um, and we'll just put some details on it, and then painting it's going to be the answer part. I'm not great painter of these things. Um, like I say Eric is much better. He, he does a load of little robots that are really good. So this uh, hopefully it, it will come out but uh, let's see how we go. Um, it's probably not going to be a lot of me talking on this one because it's got, going to be a lot of thinking and seeing how things fit together. But uh, let's see how we go. Okay, so he's coming along. So what I've done is made two shoulder pads. He's got sort of big square shoulders. So I've done big shoulder pads out of an old Sherman tank front end. Cut the middle section out. Uh, put that on. Yeah, so he's got his flamethrower bit there. I'm going to add some greebly bits on there. I'm going to put the top bit on there. And then we'll make the arms. The legs going to be a difficult part. I'm going to have to have a think about the legs. And I want to try and use these somewhere. I think perhaps on the, the sides, down the legs. And this is the insides out of my insulin pen. Lovely little corkscrew section. So he's coming along. Okay, so he's coming together nicely. So I've used a aircraft cockpit. Some sort of tow it off battleship sort of bits and bobs. I'm going to put a load of rivets on it uh, as well. Made a little chainsaw arm of various bits. It's got wall plug legs, clunky feet. I've just popped a little bit on the back so um, what I'm going to do is add a load of rivets and then uh, undercoat him and we'll see what he looks like. Well I've undercoated him. He looks pretty good. He's got a little Gatling gun arm. And he's got a chainsaw arm. And he's got a spoon head. Heat ray, oola, as they say. Uh, I love his feet, clunky, clunky. Um, so I'm going to spray him. I'm going to take a, another leaf out of uh, Mystery Models and spray him yellow and do him as like a construct construction colouring with a lot of grunge and, and sort of mildew and stuff on him. He's obviously been left alone for a bit. But uh, I'm going to do that now. We'll see what he looks like yellow. Okay, so 
I've uh, done him in industrial yellow. I've left it a little bit sort of uh, patchy because I, I want him to be a bit rough. So I'm going to try and use some of this Africa Core enamel wash from Ammo and just sort of run it in, see what happens. I'm not really uh, sort of experienced in this, so we'll see. We'll see what we see. Ooh, we'll see that the brush hair comes out straight away. Well, that's good, isn't it? I'm going to coat this and then wipe a load off. See what happens when we dab it off. Oh, that's not too bad. Gives him a sort of dirty look. Put a bit more on there. I'm going to carry on, do that all over, and we'll see what he looks like. Well, dirted him down, so he's looking suitably dirty. I'm going to try and put some bits of rust on him. That's again an experiment, so first off a bit of base coat. I'm going to use some of my old uh, decals, decals. Just put some on. Just give it a bit of a, a bit of sort of labelling. I'm going to make a little base for him. So I've just got a circle of MDF wood. And I've drawn where the feet are, and then we're going to paint it green as a base layer, and then we're going to flock some grass on it. So that'll be fun. Well, we're going to use the static grass applicator. This one was just one off of uh, the internet. It's actually 3D printed, which is weird. Um, and basically it's a nine volt battery in there that creates a static loop. And then you put grass powder in the end. And for that we're gonna use, ooh. So you can see the static grass sort of sticks upwards. It's really nice stuff. And then the, the robot will stand in it quite nicely, like in a field of his own. So we'll just let that all dry, probably a little bit of dry brushing on the robot, and we'll come back and see it done. Okay, well, I've finished making Joseph's robot. Um, it was interesting. 
I'm not really used to doing this sort of uh, mecha and more painting people and stuff, but I did enjoy doing it. Um, so this is the original design. Um, and I've sort of copied it as closely as I, I thought, but I have embellished it a bit, so apologies, Joseph, if it's not quite what you wanted. Um, so basically I've imagined it as a sort of this exterminating military robot. Um, but he's exterminated everyone. No one left, so he's just stood in a field waiting for someone new to turn up that he can exterminate. And I've put some grass on there, and I've also put a little, tiny little rabbit just watching him, seeing what he's doing. Um, so I think he's come out okay. He's probably a, <coughs> a little bit dirtier than I, I was going to do him. Um, but what I did learn is when you're doing this sort of weathering is to put a uh, like a sealer coat over the original base colour so that if you need to use um, like thinner to take off the the weather in it's not going to take off the base coat but uh, I've also I've put a few sort of I think that was a number plate from something there's a little you can't even see what it says but there's some text there and then on the back whoop, he's fell over. I've not glued him to the stand yet because I've got to post him um, so he's got some just some old decals he's got a little exhaust port on his body bot um, let's have a look at his details so He's got a chainsaw hand. I don't know what, quite what you use it for. And he's got his flamethrower gun, triple Gatling gun thing there. Um, he's in the second cavalry. Like, he's got his flame unit and his heat gun. So I think he's come out okay. I hope uh, Joseph likes him. We'll get him up to you as soon as we can. Um, hopefully he'll survive the post. But uh, thanks for that, it was very much appreciated. It's a lovely drawing, I'm gonna pop it on the fridge. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see more of these sort of non-film based ones, let me know. It's not something I normally do. Um, I do have an imagination, but it's a bit rusty. Um, then please let us know, but uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can, and I'll see you again next time. And thanks, Joseph, bye.